All right, YouTube, we're going to play some zombies. So let's jump into a league here. I was pretty impressed with this deck while I was playing red-black. Like, it just ran me over one time or two times. I lost to it twice yesterday. So I was just, I was just pretty impressed with it. So I'm going to certainly give it a try. Play league match, view deck. Oh, there we go. Just I'm just renaming a couple of my videos over here. Okay. Got a bunch of YouTube videos to put up today, which is going to be sweet. So, all right. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand's got to be all right. Move this out here. Okay. It's likely a tough matchup. Like if, if this is a Fumigate deck. Doesn't look like a Fumigate deck, so. So attack for one. Play another Dread Wanderer. Scavenger Ground's not bad. Because it's like they're likely a torrential gear hold deck. I wonder if this guy already beat me. Tilt. I'm just gonna pass. So we don't have lands. Yeah, I think I already played this guy once today beat me up. <clears throat> I'm going to yield to this turn. So they play Drawn Catacombs. Land. What a tilt. And we're actually okay. If my opponent settle wreckages me here, then we'll just take it. Because we need lands. Okay. <clears throat> so what does this card do? Put the top three cards of your library in your graveyard. If at least one of them is a zombie, let me just yield through this turn. If one of them is a zombie, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Target creatures are minus X minus X, so X is the number of zombies you control. You can cast zombie cards from your graveyard. Okay. So this is Scarab God. That's pretty bad. Okay, Teferi is whatever. So they don't have a removal spell here, and we hit a land. We got him. No, we don't get him. Nope, my math's terrible. All right, well, we're going to play a Lord. And we're just going right at our opponent here. Okay, so I got one. The Liliana is pretty good as well. Because it can kind of like it gives us a little bit of reach. We might be just like staring down a torrential gear hulk here. No, they bounce it. Okay. I should have played this one. 
Yeah, I should have played this one because that means they had Torrential Gear Hulk and at least traded. Yeah, this was a mistake on my part. I mean, we're obviously, we're just attacking here. Like, you know, we're in a tough enough spot where we just have to, you know, get in there. We can't really beat a lot. I mean, I guess I could have waited, but, like, I don't know if they play Fumigate or not. Could have waited, I guess, to go a little wider. Being handcuffed on mana has been tough. Cycle, okay. My opponent's caught up on cards. We're going to play this. I'm going to attack. Hopefully my opponent doesn't kill this thing. I guess I could just wait. Because if they like kill this, then the game's pretty over. Yeah. This game's over anyways. Probably can just scoop it up and go to the next one. Yeah, they flipped their scandal. They have five cards. Yeah, we're just, we're good here. We're going to play another Teferi. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay. So I needed, I needed to just be able to curve out, which just didn't happen. Which is sad. So I think we want the Eldest Reborn, Doom Falls, and Duresses. Probably don't need my fatal pushes. Probably don't need this demon as it's just a ball of stats. And then can probably just ditch three Lord of the Accursed. Won't ruin Raider 2. So let's get rid of another Lord of the Accursed. The Lords are what like plays poorly for us, I think. Probably want my contempts. Ditch one of these, I guess. Dante's probably okay. Probably just don't want lords. Because, like, lords are whatever. We just want to beat down, have disruption. Curves all sorts of muffed up. But we're going to give this a try. Could bring in the fourth contempt. But that means our curve's really messed up. So I don't, I don't know. We're going to try it like this, though. Okay, so we can play one into two, put some pressure on them. They mold six. Because stats don't necessarily matter against this deck. We're going to name Zombie. And we can play three spells next turn. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get Settle the Wreckage or anything like that. I should have attacked first. This is very poor. So now I'm going to like fix my mistake. Play this. We're just kind of going in here. Like... Their removal spell that they could have is probably Fumigate or Settle, and that's like a couple turns away. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. So now we have to play Liliana. Deal five. So what do we want to do here? So just plus one. We didn't get him, unfortunately. Okay. So I think I'm gonna play another Diagraph Ghoul, but not any, not this Graveyard Marshal, because I don't want to get like Wrath out of the game. 
in the graveyard mark the marshal could potentially go like play it and make a dude okay that's a pretty good one so i kind of want to attack with all my creatures just because it's lethal makes my opponent do something they can't settle me We're gonna play this because if they tap out, we get to land the Eldest Reborn, which is pretty good. And it's a little can on its own. It's not a confusing me, but. So I'm gonna attack with both of these, not the Graveyard Marshal. My opponent Gear Hulk, so we can just contempt it. Okay. Get these two. And that will pass. Exile creature from your graveyard. So let's. All right, let's scoop it out. Could cut this, play one more Contempt. It's a lot of fours, but I think like on the draw, they've got Scare of God, they've got Teferi, and they've got whatever the card is, so I think we want this. 10 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time. You guys should hit the follow button if you like what you see. Looking to just get to a 1,000 so that I can kind of do more with my stream. So I would appreciate that from everybody. I kind of want a mulligan this hand. This hand just seems way too slow. My opponent mulligan as well. Yeah, this hand's much better. I'm gonna keep bottom anything that's not a land. Yeah, unfortunately, Doomfall is going on the bottom. Maybe I should have boarded out my masteries. It's entirely possible that I should have done that. Okay, so they have an essence scatter. This is probably a cast down. At least I call it land. So I'm gonna go with they definitely have an essence scatter. Just want lands. No lands. Okay. I'm just going to play out another Graveyard Marshal just to be mana efficient. Means if I draw Duress, I can go like Duress into Threat next turn as well. Okay. Opponent's running out of cards. Field of Ruin doesn't do anything, which is kind of nice. Okay, so now I can go Double Threat. And I am going to run like face first into Settle the Wreckage because I'm stuck on mana. Okay. No Scare of God, no Scare of God, no Scare of God. Oh, that Ruin Raider would have been so sick right here if we had a land. If we draw a land, Ruin Raider is going to be a great follow-up to like a Settle the Wreckage. Alright, well at least we get to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so they have a Torrential Gear Hulk, so I think I'm just going to pass. They're going to go Gear Hulk, Fatal Push. But it was nice that we got that Teferi out of there, but they just didn't even cast it. Okay. If I draw a land, I'm going to attack with both. All right, didn't draw the land, so let's duress something. Oh, we're, these duresses have been pretty good. 
I think my opponent should just cast there. I guess it's tougher than to cast the Teferi. The beginning of your end step, if you attack the creature, reveal the top card of your library. So we want to land. Okay, so now we're going to attack with just one. My opponent's going to gear whole kit. I guess it's not quite worth it to him. So I really want this Ruin Raider to resolve. I guess I can actually get aggressive now because of this Swamp. It's not like my opponent can dispel something. Like we'll get one of our Dread Wanders killed, but then I can contempt the Hulk. Oh, okay, well that's all right. We get to draw cards with Ruin Raider. Do not think about Saddle Wreckage, but it's, it's not that bad. All right, land's pretty good. We're actually free to attack with our Ruin Raider too because they can't do anything about it. Because we'll just contempt. Okay, so they had a contempt. All right. So now it's like, do I want to play Liliana or Liliana's Mastery? And it's probably just a Mastery. That's a good one. All right, target opponent reveals their hand. This deck's nice. Because they go Hulk into push. Then we can Hulk into contempt. That works. That actually makes more sense. Then I can contempt this, get their last card. Crack them for three, and then resolve my Liliana next turn. This deck is nice. Oh, I was hoping they're, they're tapping main phases. Like, are they playing God? So now I'm going to go. So this dies. That's all right. I'm going to go Liliana into Name Zombies. Cast zombie cards from the graveyard. Get back this. Comes in with a counter. There we go. Hmm. That felt pretty sweet. I would not think I'd be able to beat up on a deck like that. But I did. It was kind of like we both mulligan the six, I think. So I was kind of a fan. Like we just kind of we just kind of got them there. Like just powered through everything they had. What is going on, Twitch chat? What, are you, what have you guys been doing with Standard? I don't know a lot about Standard, so I just want to know, like, what, what is your experiences with Standard? Because, like, the red-black deck's pretty good, I think. Um, 
the blue black bullish decks probably decent, but like I, I don't play enough standard to like play around everything. Um, and this zombies deck was pretty sweet. Like I, I would not think that I would beat that deck. Like I think that torrential gear Hulk decks would be pretty tough matchups. Yeah, we'll keep this. A little reactive, but it's lands and spells. I don't think you're supposed to mulligan a hand like this in the dark. All right, well, we get to push something. Would have liked to draw in like a, a two drop or a one drop there. Just something to border to something to further my board state. So we're going to get that out of here. No ramp for the opponent. That 3 fours, that rampager is going to be a super annoying blocker. I guess we're just gonna play the Deadlands. Land or Elf, okay. Rampager. So I could just, I kinda wanna use my mana. As mopey as this is. I just want to, like, I don't want to just do nothing. Especially considering I've got another one. I can even, like, Deadlands this if I need to. That's pretty mopey. There's a Bristling Hydra I'm going to feel sad. But I can Deadlands this Land of Elf just to do something. Big H. Joke's on you. Okay. So I think we got to get rid of this Hulk before my opponent um, gets a chance to have Blossoming Defense up. Because if you get your Vraska's Content Blossoming Defense, it's just awful. And I really hope we draw something else to play here. Steel Leaf Champion, that's a big boy. We're in trouble. I just keep making my land drops. Yeah, that's the game. This boat's just gonna wreck me. That boat. Okay. So I think we want a little bit more removal. Um they're probably a, they're a snake deck, so I kind of want to maybe cut some cards that are weak to snake. Like, these Planeswalkers probably aren't that great. This demon seems kind of like not, so far, seeming like nonsense. I don't know what other cards are bad. Um, the Graveyard Marshals are probably okay. They're big. Metallic Mimic gets beat up by um, whatever it is. Uh, Walking Ballista? We're 
We're bringing an extra removal. I do kind of want this Eldest Reborn. I think I want all my Lord effects. I just want my creatures to be bigger than theirs. My one drops are probably fine. Yeah, let's just try this. Depends on my opponent's side. If my opponent slides, or slows down a lot, then I might bring in my Eldest Reborns, my Ruin Raiders, and cut like Diagraph Ghoul. My Mulligan. Don't have any pressure. All right, can I keep any, gonna ship anything that's not a land? Sand is pretty soft, something like a walking wood stuff. If we just curve out here, though, holy shit. Land one time. Okay, we'll take it. Zombie. <clears throat> really want another land. Okay, Heart of Kieran. All right, we're doing it. God, this board's huge already on turn three. I'm a big fan of what's going on right now. I can even give my zombies menace and swing in, then play a Dread Wanderer. Then if we hit a land next turn, then we're in really good shape. Because we just smashed with this Liliana's Mastery. These are all four power. I think my opponent's dead. If that's the case. The <laughs> Dread Wanderer is five power. Snake into Ballista kind of does some work. It probably doesn't matter if we get the mastery. You can play a green belt rampage or animate an attack. They are dead on the board, so they need to have a fatal push or something. These dread waters are just going to keep coming back. Wow, this deck is sweet. I'm a big fan of zombies. Yeah, they just scoop it up. Let's see if we were to hit the land. Nope, we didn't. But, okay, so we probably want to board out some slower stuff on the draw. And maybe bring in a little bit more removal. A lot of the masteries, like maybe Dread Wanderer or Diagraph Ghoul is, too, is like not powerful enough on the draw. And I just want something to be able to grind a little more. And then maybe like a Doomfall. Yeah, let's try this. This is great. 
we can deal with their early aggression and then hopefully clean up with a Liliana. This is a great hand for the draw. Yield, uh, yield to this turn. This looks like a very play draw deck. You know, like you're going to sideboard differently each time. Don't play a Heart of Kieran. I think we're just going to push this. Like, we just don't want to get run over. I, could have just, I guess I could have saved, like, walk the plank for it. But now if my opponent plays, like, a Steel Leaf champion, I can walk the plank that. Ronus. Oh, we can Doomfall that? That's sweet. Target opponent exiles a creature they control. That doesn't even work with the Scrap Heap Scrounger, which is great. What's that? Sounds good. My opponent is sad. Okay. Go up. So my opponent can go like Gear Hulk onto this and get me. But next turn I can go like roll down, play Death Baron, walk to plank something. Yeah, that sucks. But at least the walk, the Death Baron, well no, we're not even gonna get the Death Baron back. Yep, yeah, that's a beating. That's pretty good. So let's kill this. Walk to plank this. This is where like a blood fast would be sick. So our whole deck's just creatures left. We've drawn all like our non-creatures. Heart of Kieran. Okay. Or lands. Bring back Scrap Heap. <clears throat> Is Ravenous Chupacabra a zombie? Ravenous Chupacabra. I have no idea if that's how you're supposed to spell it or not. Creature Beast Horror. Wow, that boat's not good for the home team. Maybe we need some of these boats for just these creature matchups. I don't know. So I'm going to deal with this thing. Yeah, we're probably just we're dead. We're just gonna fold to this boat. Opponent's got a lot of vehicles. Now they just animate the boat. Yeah, we're just dead. Super dead. Super super dead. This boat. This that boat was pretty impressive. I should put, take some notes here. <laughs> So I already dislike my sideboard. Like, these seem kind of like nonsense. These seem kind of like nonsense. And I almost want to like, and this seems like nonsense. So I almost want to make this another metallic mimic. Not sure. Maybe I boarded in too many, too much removal. I don't know if I can play a blood fast deck with this though. After sideboard, 
that we will keep. Okay, so against green, red, whatever deck, we should be okay as long as we don't get Liliana or get like Glorybringer out of the game because I doubt they have a lot of removal. Okay, that was apt to happen. Teamer. Grow from the ashes. Oh, this is like the uh, this is the ramp deck that I played last night. Use my mana. This deck's got Hour of Devastation, which is probably not great for us. Well, their mana's going to be online. They probably main deck Hour of Devastation. I can't imagine a deck like this actually surviving without that. And even though we flooded out the last game, I have got a sense that I think I want one more land in this deck. Zombie. So here comes an Hour of Devastation or a... Whatever it is, a um, worm. Okay. Cards we are not beating. Sift a worm. Okay, so they have hour of promise coming with a desert. So I don't think we can actually like really beat a Hour of Promise. So I think we're just gonna like try to get our creatures out of Hour of Promise range. Okay, grow from the ashes into Hour. I'll just take this. That's kind of a bold attack, I think. I mean, they easily could just have, like, another. Yeah, like, this looks like our promise. Okay. And then I'm going to attack with everything. If they go to double block this... Actually, I might... I'm just going to attack with my Lord of the Accursed. I, don't really, I really don't want to push something. So we're about to get absolutely wrecked, so I might as well block in such a way that makes it so that my opponent's creatures also die to this Hour of Promise. Star of Extinction? Okay. Or Banefire for 11. Okay. All right. You've got it, opponent. 
Okay, so I think we want to get rid of... We want my duresses. We want the Doomfalls. Probably the Eldest. No, the Eldest Rewards don't seem great. We don't want Fatal Push. I probably want my Liliana because they're not going to be able to deal with it very well. This demon. This demon's been awful. Liliana might be too slow. We're just not looking to play a game like that. Yeah, we're going to try this out. We still have some Contempt. I guess I could play Walk the Plank over Contempt. Yeah, let's try this. We just want to go fast. Pedal to the metal. So I think I want another land down a demon from the main deck. I'm fairly sure that's like an adjustment I can make for my next league. Yeah, we'll keep this. Duress and a lord and a lord. Providing we hit land drops. So I think all I want to do is curve out in this deck. Let me get some more coffee. Dizzy boy. How's the YouTube mean? You're doing well. I think I'm gonna uh, after my stream we'll go to the gym. They're tanking on their seven here. They mold in six. I am very excited to duress my opponent if they mold six. They put a card on the bottom. All right, we'll take this hour. It's a tough hand to keep. We should be able to run this over. Okay, so they drew a green source. Zombies. Okay, there's the spray too. Yeah, I think this deck, I think the, the first change we're going to make is get another land. Because we've had multiple land problems in each one of our games. All right, well, at least we can hopefully hit something. All right, we hit another sweeper, which is good. All we want to do is curve out. We are currently not doing that. Scavenger Grounds is also pretty bad. Grow. Jeez. This has been a beating. This is an hour they're going to be able, yeah, now they're going to be able to sifter, sifter worm us. So we need to hit a land in order to play walk the plank next turn as well. Okay, so that's pretty good. So let's be mana efficient. Let's play our lord. Yeah, we're just trying to, like, trudge through whatever our opponent's doing. Which is going to suck because we missed for so long. Oh, they had Star of Extinction and they hit a land. That's gross. So they still have two Sifter Worms. Okay, so Sifter Worm after Sifter Worm. Might as well be mana efficient. 
Have them exile a creature they control. And then we crack in for three. I feel like Sifter Worm is worse than Palaka Worm in this deck. Okay, there's Sift Worm. The Scavenger Ground's also been pretty bad, so I wonder if I need something like a... Okay, so Hour of Devastation is what they drew. I guess I should be mana efficient, hang on. Oh, our devastation with so they're drawing a devastation. They still have a sifter worm. We just have to like keep attacking and never ever stop. The one problem with this being a bloodfast deck is that the cards aren't very cheap. So you can't like bloodfast and do something. Just starring me out of this game. There's just so many bombs once I get to seven mana. So maybe I should have gone upstairs, but no matter what, I'm trading with a sifter worm. I guess that, like, if I'd gone upstairs and taken a shot, they couldn't scry. Jeez. Yeah, we're just getting worked here. Because this gets back Star of Extinction. And they, like, copy Grow from the Ashes. It's like, they're literally just going to Star of Extinction me. Or kick Grow and draw a million lands. Okay. So while my opponent kicks my teeth in, let's pull this zombies deck back up. So like we add one of these, we cut one of these, 25 lands, and then try something maybe like, these walked planks are pretty decent, Sconti's probably not needed. I don't know if these Eldest Reborns, how good those are. So I gotta get them to somehow, they gotta cut ribbons. I gotta somehow get them to use this Hour of Devastation before they, though they can just, if they go back Star of Extinction, they can blow up two lands. There's not a lot of mono black that deals with um, that we can just like F6 to my opponent's turn that deals with something like a boat. But maybe like these, like, I don't think this deck needs any more expensive stuff because you're just curving out with Liliana's. So maybe these can become like one more Doomfall and two Bloodfasts. Then maybe we even want to like cut a Veraska's Contempt from the main deck move that to the sideboard, make it too Doomfast, play another Metallic Mimic. Just go really hard on aggressive creatures to start. Seems like a pretty good idea. So, Hour into Grow. So I need something to get into my opponent's hand here. I need to, like, hit their hand somehow. In order, because, like, if we can just start jamming these Masteries, we should be in good shape. We probably can also just scoop this up and move to the next game. I'm kind of over this deck already. I want to make my changes. I think having seven removal spells is too much, especially when we have two Lilianas in the deck. I 
I guess we can do this now because if they hour of devastation, it's not even that bad. So they're going to be able to cut to ribbons me for like 42 points here. If they have black. I don't know if they can cast black or not. Yeah, so like move one of these over here. Cut this Gaunti. Add one. And then get like two Argles Bloodfasts. Or get another... Um, or get like another Liliana maybe. I have to get Bane fired for like 78 points here. And probably just die a miserable death. I actually have to get them to like use this in order to clear the board so that I can survive. Like have them clear the board and then look to draw something off the top here. Because, like, these are just going to kill me, especially if they have a Bane Fire. But, like, I'm probably not beating a Bane Fire. They're drawing two cards a turn. I think I'm just, like, over this game. I definitely don't think we need seven main deck removal spells with, uh, with Liliana. The nice thing is these Liliana Masteries, they stay in play. So they're just a big problem for my opponent throughout everything. Like all of my threats are now really good. Appreciate everybody for hanging out today. Showing up. What do you guys think about the, the suggestions that I want to make? I definitely think making these Eldritch Rewards something like Bloodfast is good. Okay, so the Hour of Devastation us, which we knew was going to happen. This gets them more zombies. Zombie. Okay. Play a bunch of tap 4 fours. My opponent still can't cast their cut to ribbons, the back end, which is nice. I find it surprising they can't do that, though. With, with Grow from the Ashes and um, whatever it is, they should be able to figure out a way to cast this, I think. And this, here comes Banefire. Yeah. Okay, got it. You got it, sir. So I definitely want to, let me just, I'm going to put these in here and then get, I'm going to play out the rest of this league, but then get those cards ready. So load, uh, let me go list. Go like this, just do this while we're loading. Um, metallic Mimic. Shouldn't this be? I feel like this should be by a uh, metallic mimic. M E T A metallic mimic. Okay, so we want one. Then we also want Argles. I guess we can just do blood fast. Never know how to spell Argles. A-R-G-U-L-E-S. A-R-G-U-L-E-S. 
A R G U L E S. A R G U L E S. What? Argles Bloodfast. A R G U L E S. A R G U L. That's annoying. Maybe I'm just like down and trying to multitask. That's annoying. Um, I will keep my hand. See, we've got two lands again. We have these two like huge five drops that we want in order to win us the game. Plus, even if we miss with our, um, uh, zombie, oh, blood fast is two words. Okay, okay, okay. Argyle's blood fast. Okay, so let's go. We add one of the deck, then we get card hoarders, send them over. Might just drop from this league and try it. Add two. Add two cart. They not have any metallic mimics in there. Card is out. So sad. Alright, well at least we hit a land drop. Oh, my computer's internet's tweaking out a little bit. Chrome's having a tough time. I'm not gonna block. This card's actually pretty nice in this matchup. Champion, place order. Let me get my order details. Yeah, so this is so annoying. I think we're just gonna do this right now. Oh, it's from my graveyard, so it's not even a hate card. Not even like a God Pharaoh's gift hate card. We're just gonna do this now. Get get it into play. Okay, trophy mage goes and gets their gift or gate. I don't think I can trade because like my my cards just scale up so much. If we hit land drops. We're just in such good shape. And I'm going to hit this Trophy Mage and then crack in. All I need is land drops. Okay, so... I guess I could, like, play this Demon... And we just need to hit lands. It's like a, it's, I'm, I'm a broken record, but I think I think that's I think this deck severely needs 25 lands. There's gate. One, two, three, four. And we have to at least beat him with this, which is nice. There's five.
They might just attack. Okay. Um, which of these is the worst for them to bring back? If they, okay, I guess we're just gonna get rid of this. Get rid of the champion. Attack in. Did I even add this to my stream decker? I guess I should have left that back. I'm like, oh, there, car robots come in. Submit. Confirm trade. This board probably looks awful. Oh, Moto's tweaking out. Probably just clicking too much. Don't want to trade. I guess I just block this thing. That's kind of a free block. So I draw a land, I can contempt this, and then hit the god also. We're gonna hold this demon back. They get to bring back the uh, They get to bring back the, um, whatever it is. They get to bring back the Kaisel Freebooter, but this checks it. So we're actually not in like a really terrible place at the moment. Like it's not, it's not ideal, but you know, we've got a good board. Then we can just hopefully, okay, so now we're going to take two of our Liliana's Masteries, which is rough, but again, we can Deadlands one of these. And they can't beat through this. This demon's actually not bad right here. They can't beat through it. Which is pretty decent. Okay. Getting a little nervous. Yeah, I think I should just start casting like masteries. Then just passing. I don't think we're gonna win this long game, but But um, it, it's nice that like this deck's obviously got this much power in it. There's Slam and God, no Ballista for two. Okay. So then they just bring back Ballista, or they can bring back another Freebooter. Take my Liliana's Mastery. I bring Trophy Mage back. Okay. So I get some another gate. So we're gonna play another one of these. And then I've gotta think like, how do I start making inroads on the battlefield? This is where I want even more lands, as we see here. So I can crack in with my two four fours. Trades, trades they bring back. 
I think I'm just going to start working into this battlefield a little bit. Make sure I'm not dead on the crack back. Block four. Four comes in the air, block that. Block something on the ground. They're going to bring back two things. Maybe I just wait because my board gets, the longer the game goes, the better my board gets. I probably can't attack in the air with this demon. I do have to start to put pressure on them somehow. I also need to restart Moto. As soon as you start trading on Moto, it it just starts tweaking out. Okay, so you shoot this, puts a bunch of cards in their graveyard. They get a loot. Aetherborn, Aetherborn's annoying. And then I want more lands in order to be able to double spell in the late game also. Because, like, once you start casting these masteries, it takes up your entire turn. They get rid of my Liliana. Fuck this. Man, Moto is just losing it. Yeah, we're dead. I'm going to restart Moto. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to concede from the league and then jump in another one and restart Moto. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. 